Kathy's going to go through in this next segment some tips and techniques for bathing your cat at home. Okay, so we're just getting Louie ready for the bath. Before you bathe them, you want to make sure that you get them all combed out. There's no mats. Get your shampoo and your towels ready. And in the tub we go. It's best when you're bathing a cat if you have something with a sprayer, like a kitchen sink would be a good place. Um, cats do much better if you put the water right on their coat and don't hold it away and spray them. You want to make sure you have nice warm water. Get the cat nice and wet. Before you put your shampoo on, it'll make it lather up a lot better. Make sure that you have a restraint on the cat at all times. Louie's being really good. Louie's a pro at this. So sometimes you get cats that are going to be trying to get away from you, and it's best if you have like a harness, cat harness or something that you could tie them, keep them in, in the wash tub while you're bathing them. You always want to keep a hand on the cat. You don't want them escaping. You want to make sure when you're bathing a cat that you use a, a shampoo that's formulated for cats. Not all pet shampoos you can use on cats. So make sure to read the label that it's cat safe. Get a good lather. We don't do the head on the cat. You don't want to spray the cat's head. Cats have problems with more respiratory problems if they inhale the water than a dog would. So do you just towel that separately or? When, yeah, when we are finishing up the cat, we'll just use a damp cloth or damp towel and clean his face. Ooh, he's nice and dirty for us. We're getting a good example of a dirty cat. <laughs> doing some construction, Louie. So other than restraining by the scruff of the neck, is there any other um, recommendations you have? Or well, if, if they're you, squirming or trying to get away? If you have a cat harness, like I said, you can put that on them. Um, the biggest thing is that you want to just make sure that you have good um, control over the cat so that he doesn't get away from you. And once they start jumping around, then they're pretty much going to be out of control. So just make sure that you keep them in the tub. Don't let them jump around. Now we're rinsing Louie. You want to make sure that you don't leave any shampoo in the coat. The shampoo can cause irritation won't be nice and fluffy. So make sure that you run the water through, squeeze all the shampoo out. Um, one thing I might mention too in cats as well as in dogs, they have anal glands. We don't normally check anal glands in cats. They're not real fond of having their anal glands checked. Just by them being nervous enough, they might express it on their own. You want to make sure when you're using the sink or whatever to bathe them in, you want to keep the drain open. You don't want the cat sitting in water. So not a good idea to put them in a bathtub or something that's already filled with water. You don't want to fill up a tub full of water and dunk your cat in it. No. Nope. It's going to scare them. And Louie says it's not a good idea. <laughs> you just want to have an empty tub. Let the water flow down the drain. Make sure you get 
get all the shampoo. Make sure the water is running clear. There, we're going to wrap them up with a towel, squeeze off some of the water. Use as many towels as it takes to get them dry. You want to help them get dry as quickly as possible. At home, if your cat will let you, you can use the hair dryer. You don't want to let it get too hot. If you have a cool setting, you can do that. But if you don't, or if the cat won't let you, use as many towels as you can and absorb as much water as possible. This first towel, when it's really wet, that's when you're going to want to try and wipe the face. Check around their ears. Get some brown stuff in his eyes. Just hold his eye shut and wipe away from the eye. You don't want any of that going into the eye. And the same thing on the other side. ears, wipe those out real good. Then we're going to put them on a table here and dry them a little bit more. While your cat's drying, if you can't use the hair dryer and get them dry, you're going to want to continually keep brushing combing through the cat while it's running around the house getting dry, sitting in the sun getting dry. You want to make sure that you keep it combed out. Having a wet coat, if it's matted, it's going to get tighter. So just make sure that you comb through them. Let him go lay in the sun and relax. Go back in a little bit, half an hour or so. Comb through them again. Make sure you don't have any mats. Leaving the mats in there, their skin can get sore, and you don't want that to happen. Okay, that's great. So basically, once you've got them toweled off, you want to give them a good combing, let them dry a little bit more, and then continue to comb until they're fully dry. That's correct. Okay, that's great. Well, thanks so much, Kathy. You're welcome. Thank you.